Hey guys, it's Gree, and I'm back with a new computer, thanks Mead, and a new game. But don't worry, I'm not leaving Minecraft. I just wanted to share this game with you if you haven't seen it already, uh, while we talk about what's been going on in my life and what I want to do. So, let's get started. Let's see, play maps. They have played this a little bit. We're going to go with a mixed map. It's harder at the beginning, but I like it better. Give you a little bit more challenge. Alrighty, and the game should be paused. It is, so let's make sure that there are no immediate threats. I don't mind threats in my mount. In fact, I like them. But I don't want anybody, any little froggies coming to get me right away. It looks pretty good. I'm going to talk to you about this game as if you haven't seen it. If you have seen it already, then great. You might even be able to share some things with me that I don't know. But I know that um, it's it's a pretty new game. It is in beta. And remember, beta is beta. So if we have any issues that... I forgot what I was going to say. If we have any issues that you can blame on beta, then blame it on beta and let's just enjoy the game for what it is right now. It is a sandbox type of game and I, that's my favorite. I'm also looking forward to SimCity. I've been watching um, Cox and Crindor's SimCity beta let's play. We only had two things, but I'm really enjoying that. All right, let's get started and then I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm what I what I've been doing. First thing I want to do now some people don't like to play on the edge because of sieges. I really don't mind. In fact I kinda like it on the edge. I know where everything is. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop down the trees right through here. Now you could get a tree creep tree keeper which is a nasty little guy but since all my little people will be here it should be fine. Let's go ahead and chop down these trees. Go ahead and start the game. Now those are your little villagers and they're going to chop up and see they've already found a tree keeper. But hopefully with all of them here they should be able to kill the tree keeper. He's bruised. Probably going to kill one of my... Yep. Ah! I think he killed two. No. Let's see. No, just one. Killed one of my, my little guys. Make sure this is on slow. Killed one of my little guys, and later on we're going to use these corpses to let's pause it real quick. We use these corpses to build um, to build graves. But I'm going to cheat a little bit and get rid of this one because they don't like to have the the guys or the um, corpses around, and I can't really blame them. So next thing we're going to do is gather these two the sugar two sugar canes and the wild wheat. Two reasons. One, we're going to use the wild wheat to till and make farms, and the sugar cane we will use it later on, but right now I just want to get it out of the way. While they're also doing that, let's see how high. You have to kind of scroll up. Notice this little three right here. You have to scroll up to see what level you're on. That looks to be my top level. I'm going to get rid of this stone first, mine it out, and then I'm going to go ahead and tell it to get the second layer out because they can get one layer above them standing underneath it and then we're going to also start tilling as well and then I'm going to start go ahead and start little guys going and I am going to give myself a little bit of space off the corner and start a farm about this size <clears throat> now they'll start doing a few things on their own I don't like to at the beginning of the map to do a whole bunch of things because you start you start getting a lot of you know, harvest that wheat and harvest this wheat. You get a lot of orders going and their happiness. Let me show you their happiness in case you haven't seen this before. Their happiness is, will start dropping really fast. Excuse me and. If you have low happiness, you can't get new immigrants in. And we need to get more immigrants in. We need to have more. Now, to get immigrants in, you have to have two things. 
One, you have to have happiness. I think it's about an average of about 20 or higher. And you have to have personal rooms, which brings me to, well, not the very next thing. Because we're going to go ahead and plant over here in the plant menu. We'll plant a little bit of wheat. We don't have enough to plant all that, but it'll go ahead and start. And let's go ahead. One of the reasons you're going to plant wheat is you need food for your little guys. When you first start, their food buffer is pretty high. You'll notice that turns to eat 14,000 out of 2,500. Oh yeah, okay. So they give you a little buffer to start with at the beginning to get your food production going. But you can also go out and find things like this. We up, excuse me, fruit fields. And you can go ahead and gather fruit so that they can have something to, to eat while you wait. So, you can also tell it to gather all this. If you hold shift down, you'll still have that particular type of, of item collected. I meant selected right there. I'm going to have them harvest all this. And they will harvest things like flowers that are in there and mushrooms. And if you want to tell them no, not really, you can say cancel order and they won't do those. But I'm not going to worry about the little flowers, a few here and there. Alright, now I can turn the speed back up a little bit. You can have three game speeds. We're going to have it on two right now. I may actually turn it all the way up to three. All right. So they have a little bit of wood. They have a little bit of stone. And they're working on their wheat farm. And they will also be picking some fruit. Okay. I really don't like having things laying out there. But I'm not going to plant any, I'm going to cut down any more trees until I actually plant a tree farm because I don't want any more tree keepers because my little guys don't have any armor. Once they have armor and weapons, we weapons, does say that right? Once they have armor and weapons, then they'll be fine and they'll be able to take care of the tree keepers for right now. I don't want to deal with it. So with that being said, we're going to make a little tree farm over here and it doesn't need to be very big. They don't go through too much wood at a time. This regular farm is going to get bigger and bigger, but right now. Right, let's make sure that I didn't lie to you and that they got all the stone. Yep, they sure did. And they will take these little plants, not those, not the mushroom ones, but they'll take the little pine tree bush and there'll be other bushes too. I can't, can't see one over here regular bushes and they can take those and put them over in the trees. So I need to tell them plant. Right now we're just going to plant pine trees. There. Oops. I got hold shift. And here. And they'll go looking around for them. I don't want them to go too far so we're only going to do the two rows. Because they will bump into those tree keepers and they'll be out by themselves. In fact, no, that'll be fine. They should be fine like that. I was going to say I was just going to do one row, but I really need to get them to do that. Okay, let's clear out this stone and okay, I'm obviously not on the right level. Let's clear out this stone and let's clear out this stone. Which is the one level of that one? There he is. So mine that. And you might have noticed when I wrote right click wrote clicked, right clicked on that, it said mine a ladder. That'll be for when we go down in the dungeon. Alright, so they're building that and they're building that. Let's see what kind of yeah, we got fruit up there to keep them alive. Alright, they're all kind of hanging around doing nothing, so we're going to tell them to get rid of this one. It's enough of them. And we're going to tell them to get rid of those. 
Means I need the space. Alright. What else can I do? I don't want to tear into that because I might make a small base to make my... Whoa! Uh-oh. There's a yellow snake crab over here. I don't like that. So, let's go ahead and tell them all to come over here and chop these trees down so they'll all be near the snake crab. Come on, guys. Or maybe the snake crab. Okay. Get over there, guys. Get over. She's not going to be good by herself. Oh, come on, help. <sighs> Y'all fail. Look, look. Get help him. I'm going to lose another one. You guys just suck. You just all suck. I mean it. <laughs> Alright, there's two of you here. Can you please kill him this time? I, I really, yeah. Let's again destroy the human corpse. Destroy the human corpse. This is ridiculous. Don't you love it? Can you please kill him? You're not. You're not going to kill him either. He is going to kill you all. I am so mad. See, now, if all of you had a ganged up on him, he'd be dead and at least two of you would be alive. Look at it. it, it uh, I'm down to five people. Now, he is mortally wounded, so it ought to be okay. But... Oh, you guys. Alright, so let's do some things to get some people in since we've lost them. Now, as I said, we need personal rooms. I would like them in here, so I'm going to take my few little guys that are left and dig, autosave, and dig in here. Can y'all please dig in there? Okay, those little guys are sleeping. <sighs> so frustrating. They don't really have a place to sleep, but they're sleeping anywhere they can find. Alright, rooms have to be 3 by 3 or larger. So, I'm going to go ahead and plan out some rooms. We've got five people, so we need to have at least five rooms. And we want to get some more in to replace all those guys that the snake crab killed. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. They killed something. What did they kill? The snake crab, I'm hoping? No. A wild badger dies. Oh, okay, whatever. Alright. Now, you can flatten this so that you can see it better. This way. And, um... Ah, that old shift. Let's make some more rooms. Okay, that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's, they're still not rooms yet, but hang on, give me a second. Seven. All right, so go to zones, go to personal rooms. Remember to hold shift down and zone each of these as personal rooms. All right. Now let's check their happiness. Their happiness could be better. Could be worse. All right. So they all have rooms now. You'll notice if you mouse over it, that's Mirabelle Bohan's room. Eleanor, Eleanor Dumoste. I don't know. Thadon, Charles. This is a place for somebody to move in. A place for somebody to move in. And Greg, Greg Ryle. With that ball? I, I don't know. Anyways. So. 
Now we can, our wheat has started to grow. We can harvest it and tell it to replant. There's one that just grew, so let's do that one again. So then we'll harvest that and we'll take little pieces of wheat and then we'll drop that on the ground and then they will turn around and pick it back up and plant it. I wish they could just pick it up and plant it if they had a place to go. What is even more annoying to me is um, if you have like prepared food barrels, when you prepare the food, I wish that they would just go put them in the prepared food barrels, but they don't. They drop them on the ground and somebody else has to pick them up. It, yeah, it can be really annoying. Okay guys, did I not tell y'all to plant wheat here? Oh, they went to go get that wheat. Well, that means we have at least two more, so we're going to go ahead and do those two right there. Y'all pick those two up. Thank you. We have, oh, I don't want to go over there. There is a Yeti over there who is big and mean and ugly. This guy should be killable, but the Yeti, not so much. All right, one of the zones I like to start really soon is a market for two reasons. One, you can get market guys to come in, but also this is where your guys are going to, your little, little townspeople are going to gather until um, when they don't have anything better to do. Um, get rid of those. Anything higher? No. And zone me a market. Zone me a market right here. All right. So this is where they'll hang out. And this way, if something comes in there, they'll at least the wall be kind of together. Now we're going to make some actual working zones. My base. Oh, another snake crap. Yeah. My base is kind of small, so I think I'm going to limit this to their, their living quarters, and then we'll build walls around the other areas. So for right now, let's go ahead and build our basic work zones. Let's build a small carpentry zone here. And this, building the zones, takes no resources. So you can go ahead and build your zones and plan it out however you want. And... I like to build the masonry right beside it. All right now for the carpentry and the masonry to actually work, you have to put some buildings in it. It's under the utilities. First one you've got to do is a carpenter's bench. Put a carpenter's bench right there. It's going to take two wood, and they're just going to go pick up some wood. This little chick here is probably Miss Eleanor is probably doing it. Okay, Eleanor, do something. And she picked up the second one. She's going to come bring a carpentry's bench and put it right here. And if she doesn't get a move on, well, she probably could kill him anyways. Now that she has the carpenter's bench, she can make a wood detailer. As you, see, as you can see, it requires a carpentry bench and then three wood. So we're going to put the wood detailer right here. As soon as we're done with the wood detailer, we're going to make a mason's bench for the masonry. Oh, look, 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 Citizen says seven now. So if we go over here, immigrants, immigrants arrived too. All right, people. Oh, she is going to so get eat. Somebody died. Black snake crab dies. Peter Logos pushed it. Who is Peter Logos? But yay for you. Let's see what happened. That's awesome, Peter. I don't know where you are or what you're doing. But thank you. Now, if you'll see his hit points, 46 out of 1814. 1814. No. Um. All right, excuse me. So let's build one more zone. 
real quick and we're going to actually put this one in here we're going to do I don't know if it needs to be bigger than that or not but we're going to put a zone in here to allow our little townspeople to heal. We're going to put a hospital zone in here. Let me see how big the hospital has to be. Hospital, hospital, that's a tavern. Sometimes you might feel like it, but that's not correct. Okay, hospital can be just three by three. So we're going to make a hospital here. I'm going to just destroy this mud. I'm going to eventually put beds in everything in every room, but I'm going to put them in the hospital first. And we're going to put, I'm not sure, I didn't play the tutorial. I don't know if the medicine cabinet actually helps. Oops, got to have a mason's bench. Did they all kill it? Did you kill it? Please tell me you killed it. Yellow snake crab dies. Good. All right. So I can't make my pill cabinet till I make a mason's bench, and I got sidetracked on the mason's bench because of oh, that stupid snake crab in the hospital. All right. So Miss Eleanor, who is so busy working, has made a bed to put in the hospital, and. Charles is going to make us a mason's bench so we can then build a pill cabinet. I'm going to put the pill cabinet right here in the hospital so Peter can get a better healing. Let's see, he's a little better. But no, he's not. I don't think so. But that's okay. He will get better in a little bit. Right now, he's sleeping in his room. Alright, I'm talking too much and not getting anything done, and I'm afraid my people are going to start starving to death. Let's check their food. Now they're still okay. We'll plant that wheat. And we're going to start our very basic food production. And that's under here, mill. I'm going to put the food production very basic. I don't want it to be where I'm going to. I don't want to block where I'm going to have the larger, we call it larger farm. So let's put the food production, should be fine right there. And put the mill here. And let's go ahead and put one more mill here. Now, they'll take this wheat and they will turn it into flour at the mill. However, they're not going to just eat the flour, so we need to zone a bakery so we can make cookies and cakes. And well, to start out with, we're just going to make some bread. So there's our bakery. And in our bakery, we need to put two buildings. I'm at two different things. We need to put a baker's table. That's just a carpenter's bench and two wood. And we need to put a baker's oven, mason's bench, and two stone. Now, let me check my stone. Stone still looks good. Oh, that's right. Got a whole bunch in the base. Let me check this now. We have seven people and seven rooms. So we probably should go ahead and make some more rooms. Normally I would go ahead and make some rooms. I think I'm going to slow down just a second to make sure I get this. We need to make this bigger, but I don't want them going out anywhere. So we're just going to have them chop this down. <coughs> Okay, now that we have some basic buildings and some very basic things that they can do, we're going to set up what we call production queues so that you can have some of this done on your own so you don't have to keep going back and forth. First thing, we go to food, 
go to gathering and once we have some fruit trees we're gonna have them gather some fruit right now let's tell them to always keep let's just start with five right now five wheat on hand always have five wheat laying down on the ground if they're not five wheat laying down on the ground pick some more and always take and have at least five flour being milled. So now you're going to see they're going to come pick up some of this wheat and they're going to go make flour. We don't want to do sugar and sugar cane yet because we have very little sugar cane. Uh, let's see. Now let's get butchering and go to baking. I want you to take this flour. So you have a baker's table and a baker's oven. And that let's make five bread. Always have five bread. So as soon as they eat it, they'll make some more. And there's some other here. It's cake. I love to make cake. And once I get the sugar going real well, then I like to make cake as much as I can. Now, over on this menu, we're going to go ahead and go to materials. We have 15 wood right now. And planted trees, planted pine trees. We used pine trees, but I'm going to put, because they'll only do it from the planted ones, so they won't go. I'm going to tell them I always want to have 10 on hand. You can raise these at any time. One to ten. And I don't have any jungle trees or trees, but if you have these, you could you could you could do these too. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because again, it's not gonna make a difference. At least to my knowledge, it won't unless I have these planted and I don't. So it's good. All right. So now, that, now somebody will die. How did you die? The Yeti got you. What were you doing to get killed by the Yeti? I don't know, but he's about to do it too. Let's pause so I can at least figure out. No, there's another Yeti. What are you people doing? <sighs> Going to get weed, I guess. Oh my gracious, these two guys both are going to die. <sighs> Mm. See, as I said, if you start with a normal map, you're not going to have quite as many different types of monsters and you can stay away from them. But I like the mixed map. I like having all the resources. And quite frankly, even though it can be difficult at the start, I like the challenge. So, yeah, I'm going to be down to four people in a minute. And we'll just have to build them back up again. What I don't like is they're between me and my non-existent fruit. That apparently they have already eaten, so no worries. Yeah. Really not sure. Oh, they're going to get that wheat to make bread. Arr. I think I might just have to destroy any wheat so that they won't come and get it. You are going to destroy this wheat. You can try to get the one that you picked up because, well, you've already picked it up. There's nothing else out there that y'all are going to want, I hope. Oh. Alright, let's start back up and see what happens. Maybe you'll live, but you won't. Yeah, I know. Destroy the human corpse. Because I don't want y'all going out to get the human corpse. Destroy the stink cloud. You guys are going to pay later on. Dude, get out of here. Go somewhere else. All right. Now he's mortally wounded, so he is in the hospital. And if you look, Peter Logus Loges is task is heal. All right. So as you see, we're having some very serious issues with dying. Immigrants arrived. One yay. Let's make some weaponry that will help a lot start with weapons I always do stone hammers occasionally I can't remember what but you need a stone hammer to build something else or something so even if I have some extra stone hammers they will come in handy later on so I'm gonna go ahead and build a couple stone hammers a couple stone spears 
total oops I did that wrong I don't want them over here and that means always build them I want three and four And then we'll build these. Let me make sure that there are none out there. Okay, good. So if I tell them to auto equip, they'll equip from the ones that that I I make. Because if you do auto equip and there's some way out there somewhere, they'll go we'll try to get them. And I don't want them to do that. But I can tell them to auto equip now because there's not. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to plant. No, I don't want them to. I'm afraid they will. Well, let's do this. Okay. Hopefully they don't try to go out there and get this wheat. In fact, I'm going to destroy it. Make sure they don't go. Hopefully they don't try to go out there and get those. Alright, so now we have a few a few weapons. Let's just say auto quit, auto quit, auto quit, auto quit, auto quit, auto quit. If anybody who can grab those weapons, grab them. And let's go ahead and get all this so we can finish planting. And of course y'all can make the bread. You can have bread. But you have some. But you can go ahead and also try to fill this up so we won't have any issue with running out. Alright, we're back up to seven people again. Yay! We're crazy people who don't know any better. Right. One of the things that increases happiness very cheaply is a dot error, so I've been told. Now, mind you, if I say any of this wrong and you know better, tell me, because it's all based on Let's Plays that I've watched, um, Vex's Let's Play, and Clueless Evil's Let's Play, and one other one, uh, Splattercat. All great Let's Plays, but if uh, that's where I'm getting most of my... Um, most of my knowledge, or all of my knowledge, that and playing it by myself because, well, I haven't read anything because reading instructions is for girls. And wait a minute, hmm, reading instructions is for normal girls. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's go ahead and build a dining room because they prefer to eat in a dining room. One of the other things I like about the dining room is they will pick up their food and they will come to eat in the dining room. And they'll spend a lot of time in the dining room and they'll spend a lot of their downtime in the market. So I put a lot of my decorative pieces in there. Is that supposed to help with, uh, with happiness when they're around them a lot? So I'm hopefully, yeah. Right now we're not putting any decorative pieces in there. Just the fact that they have a place to eat makes them happier. And how do you how do you guys look? Okay, do you not have a weapon? There is a spear out there. Go get it. And with that being said, we're gonna make a few more. So we're gonna make a little bit of armor. Let's make everybody uh Okay, if you have that clicked green, and I pointed to the screen, you can see it. If you have this clicked green, it will stay open. If you have it turned gray, it will go away. So while I'm actually working, I like to have it on gray, uh, green. Um, let's go ahead and make a few breastplates. We're going to go ahead and make seven of everything and one. Uh, I meant seven of the chest plates and one of everything else. And we made those out of wood. You know, it's all the different tiers. And the highest I've gotten so far that I made myself uh, on a game was Hobgoblin. Alright, that's gray, so it will go away in a second. And there's an extra spear. How's there an extra spear? 
because he still won't. I said go. Oh, that's that's the guy that was uh, healing, but he's he's good now. So he'll go get his spear. Alright, now, for the basic monsters, these guys will be able to kill them. So the Yeti is still going to be a bit of a pain. But the basic monsters, this is going to be a huge help. Alright, looks like we've got a good stopping point, I think. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. I can't think of anything else. I really... Oh, let me go ahead and... To do this, but hmm, I want to go get those those uh, fruit trees, but those yeti are really annoying me. Let's let's wait till we get a little bit of a little bit of armor. Uh, oh, he already auto equipped one because I told him to auto equip. They've already forgotten to auto equip. Let's check hit points out. Ooh, you need one. Go get a breastplate. Go get a breastplate. Because I'm going to temporarily make you guys soldiers and we're going to go kill those yeti in a minute. Alright guys, I'm going to pause the game. I Well, keep it running, but I'm going to just make a little bit more armor and as soon as I'm ready to go attack the yeti or anything else happens first, then uh, I'll come right back. Okay guys, they're still building some armor, but I think that we've got enough that we can go start fighting the Yeti. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn some of our best armored guys into soldiers. Can convert him to a soldier. <laughs> kind of have it kind of random. Him to a soldier. And then somebody, one of these guys with two pieces, 18, 14, 18, 17. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll convert them both to soldiers for now because this is just a temporary thing. Now we're converting them to soldiers so that you can give them orders. All right, we're going to take and add this soldier to group one. Add this soldier to group one because then you can give the soldiers all the same order at the same time. Then we're going to go to group one. We're going to make this a patrol group, and we're going to take this patrol group out to here. First, let's put them, let's get them over here, add patrol points so that they're all kind of together. Ah, oh, there's the other one. And then we're going to add a patrol point here. Patrol point group one. They're going to head over there. And when they start heading that way, we're going to take this patrol point away. And shoot. Yep, and they killed him. Killed him easily. All right, let's go kill this guy. Add patrol point group one. Kill this group, patrol point. Let's help the. And they're dead. Or, they're not dead. Add patrol point. Group one. Move this patrol point. And yet he is bruised. And he is mortally wounded. And he is dead. 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 I thought there's somebody over here I need to and bother. Alright. Simple stray mobs, I think that we can handle on our own. Alright, let's get rid of this patrol point. And let's convert all these guys back to citizens because we need them to do some work. Go back to citizens. They'll still be stronger because they're equipped. <coughs> but they won't, you won't have to be able to give them orders. Let's go ahead and force all this wheat. And let's force some more trees. No, let's not force trees. In fact, yeah, go ahead and force the wheat. <clears throat> we are going to make a fruit orchard. 
and then we're going to make it right here. I like to make my fruit orchards. I don't know why, but I like to make them in rows of two. So we'll till some apples, and we'll till some pears. Now, after they're done this, And those were probably already, they hadn't grown at the time. Now come over here and they'll till these. And then we will tell it to plant apples first. Not sure they're on five. I'm at three and I think they were just on two. Now he's hungry. See the little red thing. So he's going to go get something to eat. Well, let's go ahead and say plant some apples. He is, he went to the dining room to eat. Now, I told it to plant apples. Problem is, we don't have any apples right now. So, stop it. Let's do one more thing before I, I was about to go tell him to gather some. But I want him to give me a whole line of these first. All right, as soon as he tills that one plot, tell it two pant pears. Please tell me I said pears, yes. And now we're going to go out to this far distant apple field. And we've got that lower, so that's why it didn't look like we had any. I said apple field, it's a fruit field. Now gather these. Gather these. And gather these. And they're going to take those apples and pears and they're going to bring them back. They're going to drop them and then pick them up. They're going to gather them all, then they're going to pick them up or something. I don't know. But anyways, that they're taking one back. I don't know if he's got an apple or a pear, but he's going to take them back and he's going to plant these. All right, guys. So seriously, I think that we've got a good start now. Lots of wheat going, a little bit of bread production, a little bit of trees. Uh, small dining room with nothing in it, and a base with nothing in it. All right, guys, the only thing I'm going to do offline is I'm going to build a few more rooms. I'm going to hopefully not have anybody move in, but even if they do, I'm not going to equip them or anything. I'm just going to build a couple more rooms. I'm not going to build anything else, and I'm going to go ahead and plant the other row of apple trees, the other row of pear trees, and possibly finish this little tree farm, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to do anything else until I come back. If there's anything you want me to do specially on this, on this Let's Play, let me know. I didn't talk really about what's been going on in my life or what I wanted to do with my other, um, with my Minecraft Let's Play. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking, uh, uh, doing a voiceover over some of some WoW footage and some other games that I've been playing just so that you can see what I'm doing when I'm playing the game. I don't have a lot of time. I, I, I just can't seem to focus on talking about other stuff. I'm right in that game. So I'll do like a voiceover, um, voice log of over some other other footage and we'll talk about it but if you have any ideas and you want to just put them down in the comments love the, love to read your comments and I'm glad to be back and I'm hoping that with this new computer thanks again Mead that I will be able to stay here uh, much longer this time thanks so much been missing you guys and I um, will be back soon have fun